Hey scientists, I'm Mr. Crouch. Welcome to another over the top science lesson. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about moon phases. Why does the moon appear differently each night from Earth? What causes a full moon? What causes a new moon? What's a waxing moon? What's a waning moon? We'll discuss all this today. Let's get started. Okay, astronomers, let's go ahead and title a new page in our science journal, Phases of the Moon. I made it silver to look like the moon. All right, so let's start off with a definition, a moon. So skip a line and write moon. And a moon is a sphere that orbits a planet. So go ahead and write that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take out a moon here. So here's a moon. Um, it's a diagram, so I'm going to label my moon. And we're going to call this a planet. And again, I am going to label planet. So what a moon does is it orbit, and orbit means to travel around. Another word for that is revolution. So this is orbit. Don't confuse it with rotating or spinning. So orbit means to travel around. So a moon is stuck in the gravitational pull of a planet, and it stays and it goes around. So that is a moon. Now, how is that different from a planet? So let's go ahead and skip a line here and write planet. And a planet is a sphere that orbits a star. So if we're talking about Earth, we're going to bring out the sun here. And of course, I'm going to label it sun, which is a star. It's a yellow dwarf star. And I'm going to bring out now he, we have here again, this is a planet. This would be Earth and this is the moon. So I'll go ahead and label those. So here's moon and here's the planet. So the way it works is a planet orbits a star. So this is the moon would go with the planet. Of course, the moon would also be orbiting the planet while the planet orbits the star. So this is how orbit looks. And again, the difference between a planet and a moon is a planet orbits a star and a moon orbits a planet. So go ahead and get caught up on your notes, make your diagrams, write a little sentence, and write the definition or the difference between a moon and a planet. I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, let's skip a line and write characteristics of Earth's moon. Uh, we've been talking about moons in general. A moon orbits a planet. So now we're going to talk just about Earth's moon. Uh, keep in mind of the eight planets in our solar system, only two planets don't have moons at all. That's Mercury and Venus. Earth has one moon, the moon that you know. Uh, Mars has two moons, and the rest have a lot of moons. For example, Saturn has 150 moons, and Jupiter has 79. So now we're going to focus just on Earth's moon. So Earth's moon, of course, orbits Earth, because that's what a moon does. A moon orbits a planet. We said that. Half the moon is always lit. Now, you might not see it, but half of Earth's moon is always lit by the sun. The reason you don't see it is because the appearance of the moon changes based on the location of the moon, Earth, and sun. Sometimes based on the location of the three, you might see um, a half a moon, which you call a whole moon, but you're just seeing the front half, or you might see just a sliver. It takes 29 and a half, 29.5 is 29 and a half days to complete an orbit around the Earth. So keep in mind, that's about a month. And the word month actually came from the word moon. See how they both start with M-O? So moon and month, month became from the word moon. All right, let's skip a line and write position of Earth, moon, and sun for a new moon. Do you know what a new moon is? All right, a new moon from Earth looks like this. So let's go ahead and draw that and label it new moon from Earth. It's a completely dark circle, and all you see around the sides is a little glowing circle. And you might see a little bit of the sun going through. So where's the sun? Yeah, the sun's behind it. So how does this happen? Well, let's draw a picture. Here's the sun. Let's label sun. And then we're on Earth. So you can just draw a circle. And you're going to label it Earth. And then the moon would be in the middle. Okay? 
So the sun shines on the back side of the moon. So this is the half that's always lit. Remember I said half the moon is always lit by the sun. But from Earth, you don't see that. You're seeing a dark circle. So you're going to see something that looks like this. So go ahead and take a moment and draw this. Label everything. And I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, so let's do some critical thinking here. Um, I just changed this new moon to full moon. So I'm going to get rid of this picture here. And we'll put what you can, what is a full moon. All right, so let's get rid of this. And we'll call that full moon. So how would you move these pictures around so that from Earth you would see a full moon? So take a moment and move the pictures around and see what you come up with. All right, well, first of all, I'm going to get rid of that. All right, so this way was a new moon, so I'm going to get rid of this. Now, what if we put Earth here in the middle, and then we put the moon over here? Well, that makes sense. So now this is a full moon to us because this side of Earth would see this moon here. So let's let's see what this would look like here. Let's do some coloring on here. All right, let me bring up my highlighter. So then this side of Earth would actually be dark. So it's this side of Earth, it would be nighttime. This side of Earth would be daytime. Let's make that yellow. So this side of Earth would be daytime. This side of Earth would be nighttime. So let's go ahead and label that. So here is night on Earth. Here is day on Earth because the sun is facing. And then at night on Earth, these people would see a full moon. And remember, it's still the half. Half the moon is lit and half of it is not. You're, this is the side you see and you consider that a full moon, but the back side of it is dark. Okay, let's discuss that the moon takes 29 and a half days to complete an orbit around Earth. So what that means is it takes about a month to go from new moon to new moon. So let's see how that happens. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my picture of my new moon. All right, and we're going to label it, of course, new moon. And that's how we see it from Earth. And we're, first we're going to go from new moon to full moon. All right, so from new moon to full moon, it's going to get appear to get larger each day. The right side of the moon is going to become more and more illuminated. So it's going to look something like this. We start with new moon, then gradually the right side is going to become a little bit more illuminated. And then after a couple of days, a little bit more, a little bit more. And then after about 15 and a half days, we're going to go from new moon to full moon. So this takes about 15 and a half days. All right. And this is known as a waxing moon. A waxing moon is a moon where the right side is illuminated and each day it becomes more and more lit. So let's get that copied. So keep in mind, if the right side is lit, the next day it's going to be more lit. And that's called a waxing moon. All right, get this pictures copied, get this labeled, and then we'll go over what happens after the full moon. Okay, so it took 15 and a half days to go from the new moon to the full moon. And this is known as a waxing moon. A waxing moon, the illuminate side gets light, brighter and brighter and the right side is lit. So now we're at the full moon. So now here's what's going to happen. Now the left side is going to be lit. See the right side here is darker and the moon, the bright side is going to get smaller and smaller. So here, notice there's less moon lit here and the left side is lit. Again, left side is lit. And then we have just down to a sliver on the left side, and eventually we get back to our new moon. And this from new moon to new moon takes 29 and a half days. Now this here was a waxing moon. Now this one here is called a waning moon. A waning moon is one where the left side of the moon is lit 
and illuminated side gets smaller. So this is a waning moon, left side. This is a waxing moon, right side is bright. All right, so make sure your journal's all caught up, and I'll be with you in a moment. Okay, so let's see if you understand. Zach went outside at night, and he saw a moon phase that looked like this. Which one of these two would happen next? Would this one, A or B? Pause the video and discuss. Okay, so which did you say? Well, the first thing you should figure out is if it's a waxing moon or a waning moon. A waxing moon is lit on the right and gets larger. A waning moon is lit on the left and gets smaller. So is it waxing or waning? It's waxing. So that means the right side is going to become brighter next. So this one here would have happened over here. So this is the one that happened next. This is a waxing moon. Okay, let's try another question. Observe the moon phase picture below. Which phase is the moon closer to? A new moon or a full moon? So which one of these would happen next? Would this happen? The new moon? Or would this one happen? The full moon? Again, look at this picture. Is this waxing or waning? Which side is lit? Well, the left side is lit, so this is a waning moon. So a waning moon gets darker each night. So then that means the new moon would be next. Okay, you're going to have a month-long journal assignment. You're going to make a moon journal inside of your science journal. And what you're going to do is the next seven or eight pages, you're going to draw this. You're going to start, put moon journal up top, maybe a little picture, and then day one. Day one just means the first day that you started your entry. That would, of course, be followed by day two, day three, day four. Then below, then draw a picture. Go outside at night. Draw a picture of exactly what you see, what kind of moon you see. Put the date of that. Is it waxing or waning? Well, how will you know? Well, if the right side is lit, it's waxing. If the left side is lit, it's waning. And then how has it changed from the previous day? So obviously on the first day here, you're not going to write anything. You're just going to write waxing or waning, and then you're going to go on and on. If you miss a day, you can always look up on the internet and you can find out how the moon was the previous night. You can just do a regular Google search, what was the moon phase of, and put the date. And it will tell you. But it's a lot more fun if you go out at night and you look at it and you draw what you observe. All right, great job, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson on moon phases. If you haven't done so already, can you please click the subscribe button in the bottom right? And if you have any questions or comments, please email me over the top side at gmail.com. Happy science, everyone.